if you're watching this video, and billions and billions and billions of people have suddenly vanished off of the face of the earth. There's people missing from all around the world, and you're wondering, what in the world is going on? There's worldwide chaos, massive confusion, nobody knows what's going on. You've been listening to the news, the news has been saying theories, the aliens came and abducted the people, mass radiation, or whatever they're telling you. But I want you guys to know the truth. The truth of the matter is, this, what is happening in the world right now, is what us Christians have called the rapture of the church. Jesus promised that he'd come back one day and rapture his own children to heaven. He spared his own children because God's wrath is about to be poured out upon this earth. But no doubt that you are looking for answers. Now listen to what I have to tell you. Because very soon you're going to experience a world politician that will come onto the world scene. He will become the head of a one world government. Okay? A worldwide politician. He will become the world dictator of the world. So, he's going to come as a, a man of peace. People are going to flock to him, especially at this time. Millions of people have just vanished off of the face of the earth. People are going to flock to him. Every word that comes out of this guy's mouth will draw you to him. But do not listen to him. He is what the Bible calls the Antichrist, that he shall come as a man of peace. But by peace he will destroy many. Okay? This is what he's going to do. He's going to sign a seven-year peace treaty with Israel for seven years. Remember this. Listen to what I'm telling you. He's going to sign a seven-year peace treaty with Israel for seven years. But it's not going to last for seven years. It's only going to last for three and a half years. Now, the first three and a half years will be peace. It will be world peace. But it's going to be broken at the, at the end of the three and a half years. In the last three and a half years is when God's wrath and judgment and anger will be poured out on this earth. It will be a time the world has never seen, my friend. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 21, For then there will be a great tribulation such as never was ever since the beginning of the world until that time, nor ever shall be. And then Daniel chapter 12, For then there will be a time of trouble such as never was since, the be since there was a nation. And then Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7, for, there, for, for that day is great, it is the time of Jacob's troubles, there is none like it. So, but I want to warn you, whoever you are listening to this video right now, because millions are missing around the world, nobody knows what happened, okay? This is what the, this is what the Bible said would happen, the rapture of the church, it's what us Christians have been uh, anticipating for years. Jesus promised to come back and he came back. Because you may be asking yourself, how did you know this was going to happen? Because the Bible foretold it, my friend. Jesus promised that he would return one day. So, there's going to come a time where they're going to install a mark system. It will probably, it will probably be engineered by the totalitarian police state under martial law or the police state. But the person that's going to introduce it and command it to be taken, there's going to be another leader that's going to be working with this politician, which is a religious leader. He will be a religious leader, my friend. He's a false prophet. This guy will be able to do miracles, okay? He'll be able to rain fire down from heaven, and he'll be able to do all kinds of deceiving wonders and miracles. So don't be fooled, my friend. In the not-too-distant future, this will, there will be a time of trickery, deception, and delusion. This is what you're going to see if you've been left behind, whoever's listening to this. Whoever this is listening to this right now, if you're a Christian, if you are a Christian, I'm giving you permission to do this. Get a video camera and tape this message and burn it, copy it, send it to your family. Because we are definitely running short. But who, if you've been left behind listening to this right now, the religious leader is the one that demands the whole world to take the mark. Which means no more money, no more nothing. It's going to be a cashless society. But this has nothing to do with 
economics. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with who will you serve. Because with this one world government is going to come in a one world religion. This one world religion. And there's going to be a one world church. But this is what you're going to see. I'm going to tell you before it happens so you guys will know. This political leader is going to get shot or he's going to be stabbed to death by one of the Jews. One of those. Because he's going to sit in the temple of God in Jerusalem and proclaim to the whole world that he is God. That he will exalt himself above everything that is called God or that is worship. So that he, as God, sits in the temple of God proclaiming to the whole world that he is God. In the temple of God. This will be in Jerusalem, my friend. So he's going to get killed, assassinated, and then he's going to come back to life. And then, and only then, he's, that's when he introduces the mark of the beast. This will probably be an RFID chip, but I don't believe it's going to be that. I believe it's going to, clearly going to be a biometric tattoo mark or a digital mark or whatever. Because everybody's going to be connected into this huge database computerized currency where everybody's tracked and monitored where they're going to know your every move. There's no more escaping this. So whoever you are, if you can find some Christians, try to try to line up with them and stay close to them. They can tell you the truth of what's going on. Because there's going to be people that will come out of the Great Tribulation, as the Bible says. In Revelation chapter 7, these are people that get saved after the rapture because there's going to be 144,000 Jews 144,000 from the each 12 tribes of Israel. Listen to them if you bump into them. And you're going to see two witnesses prophesying in Jerusalem. Two witnesses that nobody's going to be able to harm them. Whoever tries to harm them, fire will come out of their mouths and they will destroy their enemies. And that way they'll be able to call fire down from heaven, you name it. But the Antichrist is going to kill the people that do not take the mark of the beast. He has, like the One World Army is going to be working for him. Martial law in a global police state, which is happening. For those that are left behind, you see it, it's happened. The whole world right now is under a one world government. We see the one world religion. And we're talking about the mark of the beast. This is scary. Yes, I understand. This is scary stuff. But whoever you are, I want you to know Jesus loves you. He cares about you. He died for your sins over 2,000 years ago so that you can be saved. Because whoever takes this mark is going straight to hell. Revelation chapter 14 verse 11 and the smoke of their torment ascends up forever and ever and they have no rest day or night whoever worships the beast whoever bows down to his image and whoever receives the the mark of the beast because there's going to come a time where they're going to build an image and everybody's going to have to worship it people are literally going to have to worship this dictator okay they're going to have to worship this dictator so I just had an urgency I just want to leave this video behind whoever you are this is what has happened so remember the stuff that I told you. Don't forget anything that I've said. This is what's going to happen. And if you're listening to this before the rapture and you feel God dealing with your heart to get right with Him, you feel God's love, may you respond to Christ because He's coming very soon, my friend. It's going to happen fast. The first second, you're going to see people. They'll be there the first second. The next second, they're going to be gone. That's how fast it's going to be. And the rapture is about to happen everything that's happening right now. So just remember that I told you this before it happened. For those that are listening to this video, like the day today is February something. We're in 2013 right now, so remember. A one world government. A one world dictator. So remember that I told you. There's going to be a one world government. No matter what anybody says, it's going to happen. You're going to see it happen. Bible prophecy is history written down before it takes place. And Bible prophecy is going to happen. Okay? Every single word in the Bible will come to pass exactly as God stated. There's nothing anybody can do to stop it. It is sure and it's certain to happen. It is sure to happen as if it already happened. So whoever you are, I just want to leave behind with you that this is what happened to the people that just vanished off of the face of the earth. Don't believe anything the media will tell you that some laser beam fell from the sky or a nuclear radiation bomb went off or whatever lie that they'll be saying at this time. This was the rapture of the church. That's why the babies and the children are missing, because they were still innocent in the eyes of God. God has called them home as well. So, and you notice that everybody that is missing was a Christian. Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. 
He wants to save you. He's offering you eternal life. And whoever you are, God is a merciful God. He's full of compassion. Ask God to show you a sign if he's real. And if you're sincere about it, he'll answer you. So, but the only way for you to be saved, if you've been left behind, remember these. Quite, remember these. Remember this. Number one, do not take the mark of the beast. Because once you take the mark, you're going straight to hell. There will come a time when you will wish you were never born. You're just going to burn in hell forever if you take the mark of the beast. It may not say 666. It may be a different design, a different number, a different name, or whatever. But if you put that under a computer readout, it will come out as 666. Okay, it's going to be a tattoo mark, or a digital tattoo mark, or biometric mark, or whatever. But whoever takes the mark is going to hell. So remember, do not, do not, do not take the mark of the beast. Number two, you must repent of your sin and place your faith and trust in Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And you must not renounce your faith in Christ. You, may, you must not renounce Jesus Christ. And you must die as a murder for your faith in Jesus Christ. That's the only way for you to enter heaven. Because God's judgments are going to be poured out. So many people are going to die. The wrath of God is going to fall on this earth like never before, ladies and gentlemen. So this is what I want to let you know. There's coming judgment to this earth. Because this earth is rebellious against God. God is finally going to unleash his wrath upon this world. That this world has never, ever, ever, ever experienced ever before. That's how bad it's going to be, ladies and gentlemen. So remember, this is what has happened. Don't believe the lie or anything. Remember, the Antichrist will be the political leader and the religious leader that will be working with him is the false prophet that will demand everybody to take the mark. And he's the one that's going to be doing all these lying wonders, miracles. He'll be able to rain fire down from heaven. He'll be doing all kinds of miracles, this false prophet. And these two witnesses in Jerusalem, they're going to get killed, and then they're going to get resurrected. They're going to come back to life. And then they're going to go up into heaven. And there's going to be a great earthquake in Jerusalem right after they go up. This is, this is not a joke, ladies and gentlemen. People are going to die. Thousands, millions and millions of people are going to be killed. So wherever you are, try to find Christians and meet with them. Don't believe anybody. Okay? Do not believe anybody. Don't believe the media. You can't trust anybody anymore. Because they're working for this one world government. Army troops. The police state. I know it's scary. But just trust in Jesus Christ. Okay? But whoever you are on this side of the rapture, if you feel God dealing with your heart, may you get right with them. If the rapture of the church takes place, it's going to change everything. It's going to change everything, ladies and gentlemen. There's going to be a worldwide chaos, planes crashing, because the Christian pilot just suddenly vanishes. People driving in their cars on the highway that are Christians at the time of the rapture vanish without anybody under the control of the car. Trains, subways, you name it, it's going to be engulfed chaos. Millions of people vanish, gone. So, I just love people, so I just want to leave this message behind for whoever you are. I don't have to know you. The main thing is that you are an eternal soul, and your soul is valuable to God. And there really is a heaven, and there really is a hell. And you're going to spend your eternity in one of those two places. And don't let anyone fool you. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. It's not about a religion. It's about a relationship. God did not send us a religion. He sent us a Redeemer, and His name was Christ. Okay? His name was Jesus Christ. And he's still alive, and he still heals. He performs miracles today, and he can give you love and joy and peace that you never knew was real. I'm not joking. He can give it to you. So this is all I got to say, ladies and gentlemen. So whoever you are, see if you can videotape this message, copy it, because there's going to come a time, and this, none of these messages are going to be any more on uh, on YouTube, because they're talking about going into internet censorship, and they want to remove everything that has to do with God. That's all that they're going. That's what they're going to be doing very soon. That's why government control, government takeover, the new world order is taking over. Before they start taking over everything, we're out of here. The rapture is going to take place. That's why I literally believe the Antichrist is alive today because he has to be. He is. I know he is because everything that he's going to be using, everything that he's going to need, it's here. About the mark of the bees, the technologies, the surveillance, the tracking devices, the the what's it called? Computerized currency, computerized. They're going into computerized currency. And this is exactly what the Book of John said in the, the Gospel of, uh, sorry, 
this is what it says in the book of Revelation. If you're not inside this world system, you cannot buy or sell or anything. So this is all i got to say, ladies and gentlemen, and God bless. Pass this message on, and God bless, and I hope I see you guys in heaven one day. And God bless you all. And remember, Jesus loves you, and he's the Savior. God bless.